Well, hello. Uh, the title of this video is actually uh, my location. It's called Between Canberra and Sydney. This part of my stay in Oz will be the furthest away from Melbourne on the entire trip until I head back to the U.S. I'm about midway between the capital district and Australia's largest city. We are visiting Peter's mom and sister, after which we will head back to Peter's home, uh, Peter's home, period. <laughs> Friday, I will head by bus from Canberra to Melbourne. I'm still unsure of exactly where I will stay when I get there, although there are unconfirmed possibilities. Several people are working on that with me, and I expect there will be options available for the rest of my stay until May 31st. I do not plan to leave the other Melbourne until my return flight home. And then I provide my PayPal link for those who would like to help me. And uh, I want to just say about that, I did not plan when I made the trip of spending so much time in Melbourne. I, expe I expected to be traveling to further away parts of, of Australia from, from the Melbourne area, uh, including uh, up north of Brisbane and uh, meeting uh, the Native American shaman and doing, a, I guess, a sweat lodge or, or some uh, Native ceremony, Aboriginal ceremony. But uh, that, because of the situation with my, with my legs, and uh, I, just, I just cannot handle the, that kind of travel and sitting in, in vehicles and stuff like that, I am going to also try to make arrangements with the airline to make sure that, or at least try to get uh, more a seat with more leg room. There's only a few available uh, on the flight from Australia to the US. I think I can handle the relatively shorter distances once I get to the US, but that remains of course to be seen. And I haven't done that yet. But in any case, it's been an interesting trip and I found uh, Peter's mom and now uh, most recently his sister, two different homes, but they're not far from each other. Uh, I find them to be fascinating people and uh, I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to meet more of his his family. I've now, you know, of course, met his uh, wife and daughter and now his mom and sister. So this has been good and also his sister's uh, son. I uh, shouldn't forget that because he was uh, he was here and we spent some time uh, talking uh, when we got here to the sister's house yesterday from his mom's house. Uh, his mom actually uh, has a procedure uh, in the hospital today, so I uh, do not expect they said that I'm going to be staying here while they go to the hospital because they, you know, they don't know exactly the duration of how long, you know, she'll be there, but uh, Peter expects to be back um, tomorrow afternoon or, or, you know, by mid to late afternoon and from which time we'll head back to his home. Uh, I really enjoy meeting his family. They are wonderful people. Uh, his mom is a very, very much into spirituality and very much into uh, uh, very much into many of the things that that I enjoy and that many of my friends also enjoy now his sister is uh, works in health healthcare industry but it's alternative health care and uh, they were having uh, quite a discussion I was more more <laughs> listening in and observing than I was actually participating in the discussion between Peter and his sister regarding some of the breakthroughs that are that are happening in the alternative and actually non-alternative healing modalities. Uh, they've discovered, uh, one of the things that I learned is they've discovered a part of the brain, actually another, I forget what the, what the technical term is, but it's a, uh, uh, it's, part of the brain that 
uh, signals things to the body that that was only recently discovered. Uh, and so there seems to be breakthroughs occurring uh, that uh, have the great possibility of changing human consciousness and uh, firing up a different level of awareness for all of us that will, in, in my hopes anyway, uh, enable us to uh, finally grow out of the ridiculous error of having being dominated, having our lives dominated by psychopaths and people that are uh, people that are not very conscious. But the truth of the matter is none of us are very conscious and all of us have within us all of the elements that are present in humanity because we are each a microcosm of the macrocosm. And of course there are varying degrees of how much psychopathic tendencies we might have. Uh, but we all have the psychopath within us as we as well as the saint <laughs> and uh, we need to uh, begin to uh, to recognize the common ground that we share so I, I again find these things fascinating uh, there are many things that Peter has uh, shared with me over the course of my stay so far that have stretched and, and continue and will continue to stretch my mind and uh, get me to think more outside the box than what I have thus far in my life uh, had the uh, willingness and capability of exploring. So this is, this, is, uh, this is exciting for me and also, of course, challenging. Uh, but I'm going to actually end this video on the same note that I began it with, and that is... Uh, by reminding each of you that, especially those of you that are in the Melbourne area, that I am going to be finding places or looking for places that I can uh, can stay. It would be one of the things that his sister suggested is that I find a central point that I can stay for a, 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 si a sizable duration of the trip. I don't know if that's going to be possible. But it would be certainly a lot easier than moving uh, four suitcases, or including the one suitcase with my uh, with my computer and everything. By the way, Peter gave me an, a new suitcase for my computer because my old suitcase that I started the trip with uh, was actually bursting apart. That's uh, you know, it started out with a little hole about two inches approximately, and has expanded to the entire width of the of the case. <laughs> And Peter, when he, Peter saw that, he uh, he actually gave me a computer case, another computer case that's much better quality than the one that I had. Uh, I was going to go out and buy one, but he provided me one as a gift, uh, which I appreciate. But uh, I am going to need some some help and some suggestions. And if we can find a place that I can stay for, you know, a, a little bit of an extended duration. It would make it would make my trip a lot easier. I st I don't even know if I'm going to uh, rent a car at this point because uh, the it's it's possible that the uh, keeping a roof over my head will will be taking the money that I would have normal normally spent on uh, renting a vehicle. So this is uh, this is some of the things that I'm uh, that I'm dealing with and uh, asking help for. And uh, I appreciate those of you, especially again in the Melbourne, uh, Australia area, Victoria. Uh, I appreciate you getting in touch with me and sending emails and forwarding this video and other maybe recent videos to your friends in the area so that I can get a chance perhaps to, to meet as many people as possible that might be interested in, in having a conversation with me during, the, during my stay here. Uh, and I think that's all I'm going to, to share for right now. And once again, I thank you for listening and namaste.